This is a story we first told you about last night. A woman dies, and her living boyfriend doesn't tell anybody. But surprisingly, he didn't do anything criminal. Since our story aired, you've been sounding off. You've been writing to us on Facebook and at WhitTV.com, telling us exactly what you think. Most of you say there should be a law. So today, we took your concerns to prosecutors and lawmakers. 24-Hour News 8's Danny Carlson joins us live to tell us what you found out. Danny? Susie, State Senator Tanya Shootmaker told me today that she and Senator Dave Hildenbrand are going to introduce a bill that will make not reporting a death illegal. It will make it a misdemeanor punishable by up to a thousand dollar fine and or a year in jail. Now she's saying that not reporting deaths like Lisa Assassins, which happened right in this home behind me, they could pose a health risk as a body decomposes and also could compromise any evidence, including cause of death. And and we know for a fact tonight that this is at least the third time that something like this has happened in the state of Michigan. I just felt something was wrong. Tiffany Jager found her mom, Lisa Sasson, five days after she had died. Sasson's body was in the master bedroom. Her boyfriend had been sleeping in the next room for days, but he never said anything. I was just appalled by the, the system that there's nothing that they can do criminally to charge him with doing this. Like... It just, it's not right. <laughs> that it may strike people as wrong, even morally reprehensible, does not make it a crime. Tim McMorrow from the Kent County Prosecutor's Office says if Sasson's boyfriend had disposed of her body, that would be one thing. But he didn't do anything against the law by not reporting her death. Didn't do anything criminally wrong. It's a big distinction to be made here. There's a lot of things that are wrong in the world that are not covered by the criminal law. But they would have done nothing criminally wrong. They would have committed no crime. McMorrow also says it's something that usually doesn't happen. One would think that if there is a hiding of a death, that there's some ulterior motive, which may result in some criminal prosecution. But if you don't show that ulterior motive, I'm not certain that you do have any kind of legal duty and any kind of a crime that's occurred. Sasson died in mid-January. Police tell 24 Hour News 8 this is still an open case. They don't know what killed her at this point and didn't find anything unusual in her autopsy, but they say they're still waiting for toxicology reports. And although McMorrow recognizes there is a gap in the law, he says the question is how and if the legislature should fill it. The question you always have to ask is, is this something we wish to make criminal? Is this something we want to make criminal? We cannot make every immoral act criminal. There is something about not reporting someone who has died that is just kind of offensive to our sensibilities and more than just morally offensive. There is a sense of propriety in disposing properly of human remains. There's a sense of the dignity of the human person. There's a health issue. There's all those kinds of things. So this might be the kind of a thing in which there should be some kind of affirmative duty. But that's going to have to come from the legislature. Another thing McMorrow said to keep in mind is that prosecutors also have a moral responsibility not to prosecute someone just because they've done something that might offend a, a, a prosecutor's sense of right and wrong. Uh, Lisa Sasson also told us that, excuse me, Lisa Sasson's daughter also told us that her mom did have a drug addiction in the past and that her boyfriend initially did say that she had overdosed. So we plan to keep you updated as we get any new developments in this story. Live in Grand Rapids tonight, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.